Today is Friday. We are pumping out a new video, which I'm really excited about because normally we're not this fast with them. But today, the school that I work for was out because of sickness that's been going around. So Matt and I got to hang out and we've been working on some apartment renovations. And so currently you cannot see it, but we have a ginormous headboard in our living room with paint on it that's drawing. And um, also really exciting. I hope that you can tell in this video, the lighting is better. So we have um, invested in some new kind of vlog equipment we got. And you, if you follow the Heck Yeah Houston's Facebook page, you've seen um, Big Strong Matt over here putting up the stuff. So we got, I still don't know what it's called, but it's like the thing that photographers use for the lighting. Photography light, we'll call it that. Photography lighting. So. The light thingy. Yeah, that light. And a tripod. So we're really excited to see how this kind of affects the quality of our video. So you can see all of our faces. Um, so yeah, today we are continuing our Disney Through the Year series with Pinocchio. Um, it is the second... Um, Hashtag number two. Yeah, second video that... Or second movie, anime movie that uh, Walt Disney Company came out with. Um, I've never seen it all the way through. And I have not either. So um, yeah, it should be exciting. So now we're going to watch it. And it's about an hour, hour and a half. Well, no, it's, it's an hour and a half long. Um, Somewhere in between there. Yeah, so it was released in the 1940s, and we will see you later. Meh, more like an hour and a half later. When you wish upon a star. Does it make a difference who you are? It makes no difference. No difference. No difference whatsoever. Anyways. Opinions. So it's opinions time. Um, Opinion time. I liked it. I I like the music from it. This is one of um, which w when you wish upon a star is like the big Disney theme it's like song. Like the anthem for yeah. Disney. Disney's um, anthem. And Jiminy Cricket. I like Jiminy Cricket. He um, he's just a really cool character, um, in my opinion. So I I like this movie. I I, it's 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 another feel good film. Um, just kind of teaches you life lessons yeah and I do which this is the first time that I've ever watched it from start to finish so it's very weird you know like thinking about it yeah. as a kid and then being an adult and going back and watching it it would have terrified me as a kid like <laughs> yes yeah, so kind of people, people snatching up kids everywhere and turning them into donkeys yeah that was a little that was a little sketchy yeah um yeah, I have to say, Jiminy, Jiminy's funny, which Jiminy can be a little sassy, too. He had his little sassy moments, but yeah, I did like that. Don't mess with that conscience. But for this video, we're going to set it up kind of the same way where we do opinions. We're going to talk a little bit about the history and then end with our fun facts. So, all right. So I'm going to start with the historical information. Okay. Historical information. I did a lot of research for this movie and... She did. I was impressed. Oh. So, I was proud of her. <laughs> um, well, one thing I thought was really cool is even though this Disney's film was produced in... Um, oh, darn. 1940. It was 1940. Yeah. Yes. But the original Carlo... And I'm probably going to pronounce it incorrectly. Carlo... Col Collodi? Collodi? It looks like Collodi. Collodi. Yeah. He's an Italian author. He was an Italian author. And in 1881, he produced an Italian children's magazine where it was a story of a puppet was the original name. And then he came out with a little later, The Adventures of Pinocchio. But 
the original story for Pinocchio was a lot different and a little darker as well. And I think we're going to talk a little bit about that later, but that was the kind of where the story came from originally. So, so. different versions of this movie. It's been stage plays. It's been all movies, movies live actions. Um, I do remember two off the top of my head. There was one with Jonathan Taylor Thomas back when he was like, Big into, I think it was an ABC film. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I think I it was the research. I think it was an ABC film, and then there was one that I knew was like the Wonderful World of Disney, mm-hmm. um, they called Geppetto, and it was Drew Carey in it, and it was like a musical. It's kind of like Br- um, that Rodgers and Hammerstein Cinderella with uh, Brandy in it. That's what it kind of reminded me of. Hmm. So I didn't know that, but um, the setting was in Italy. So I think it's really cool how Disney kind of does that, where they take each place and kind of give it its own little story. Yeah. Um, another thing is that it was, because of World War II, Pinocchio was not released in Japan or Germany until um, a little bit later in the 1950s, mm-hmm. um, which that effect, um, affected revenue for that movie because it was not released in these in these countries and everything. Which And I'm sure too, just because of the war, things yeah. were different. Yeah. And maybe not everyone was going out to the movies. I mean I, I don't know for no. sure, but I know things would have been different. Yeah. Too. It was an interesting time probably as well because I think I remember they were they I watching videos they showed like war clips and then a movie. So yeah. it's a little bit different than what we have now. So, so um, some fun facts that we learned about the movie are in the magazine that I was talking about earlier by Carlo Collodi Collodi. Um, like we said, the story was a lot darker than like the Disney film where Pinocchio originally was going to die. He was going to hang himself. And the publishers were like, hey, this is a little too dark. This is a children's magazine. And so, hence the Blue Fairy was created and she ends up saving Pinocchio. So he does not die. <laughs> And also, Pinocchio kills in the in the story, which I actually read about three or four chapters of that. Pinocchio actually kills Jiminy with a mallet in Take like the very conscience. very beginning of the book. Yeah, so it was a lot darker than the Disney film, and even the Disney film had its <laughs> creepy moments. But but yeah. Well, pinpointing out for that uh, in the book, Monstro the Whale that swallows um, Pinocchio Mm -hmm. and Geppetto, he, it was a shark. So, it was a little interesting. In the book? Yeah, in the book. It was a shark instead of a whale. Oh. So, it was pretty interesting. Yeah. Um, So, Pinocchio actually won two Oscars for the music. Um, They won one for When You Wish Upon a Star and another Oscar just specifically for the When You Wish Upon a Star and then one for just best music of it. Which it really did have good music. It did. I was singing and I didn't realize I knew like every song from Pinocchio. You did. Even the <laughs> one about like when he's... High Diddly D, an actor's life for me. Yeah, that and one. I, yeah. And when he's on stage when... Um, oh yeah, I Got No Strings. Yeah, I Got No Strings. So, no, I thought that was kind of cool, too. Um, another fun thing is that it won an ASCAP Film and Television Music Award. We had to write these down. Best Song. Yeah, sorry. There, uh, were, there were a lot of awards. There was a lot, a lot of awards, and um, got to give credit where credit's due. Uh, it won a Hugo Award for Best Dramatic Presentation, which, yeah, it really was dramatic. Like, dramatic. Makes you just kind of think out there it's like whoa it's scary um it was a national film registry award uh winner and the online film hall of fame winner for motion picture so things got a lot going on compared to uh, Pin- uh not Pin- okay snow white so they, they well got- i feel like you know i mean just like with anything you you learn every single time that you do something so yeah, you start with the very beginning which Snow White was still good. So. Another fun fact that we learned was that <laughs> Christian Rubb, who was the voice of Geppetto, this is this one's a little weird that I learned, but since World War II was kind of going on, Christian Rubb 
voice of Geppetto, he was known to be a Nazi enthusiast. And even on set, he would annoy people with his kind of Hitler antics and that he was just very pro Hitler and pro Nazi. And so a lot of people were annoyed with some of the things that he would say on set. So I thought that was really interesting. Yeah, which makes me wonder, like, why they kept him around. But uh, yeah, especially if he was like getting on everybody's nerves. Yeah, with See, it, like, which kind of changed. Like as we were watching this, like, and I really liked Geppetto's character, and then I'm sitting there thinking about, oh, you Nazi enthusiast. Yeah, like he was a cool guy. You know, all of a sudden you bam. Read his the history of this voice actor. <laughs> um. <laughs> Another fun fact is Figaro, which you may have seen in, like, Figaro may look familiar. That is because it is Minnie Mouse's pet, um, which was also changed after this movie came out. Uh, Originally, it was a um, Cocker Cocker Spaniel. Um, Not sure the name of the dog, but uh, Mickey's got Pluto. And... Minnie has Figaro, so I guess she always had that. Which is so cool, like, after seeing this movie from start to finish, and then, you know, like, um, and, well, since Christmas was not too long ago, we watched, like, the Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas and Mm -hmm. Mickey's Twice Upon a Christmas, and so seeing Figaro as her cat, like, and then going back and watching Pinocchio kind of gives, like, a whole new meaning meaning for it to me, for me. Yeah. (laughs) Minnie meaning. Minnie, what? Mini meaning. Mini meaning. Mm-hmm. Anyways. And during the musical number, super cool fact, when you go and watch this, if you go and watch this, at the very, very beginning, um, Jiminy is singing When You Wish Upon a Star. When, well, at first, it's kind of like the old Disney movies. It's got, like, all of the cast, um, like, the members who are working. And then when you see Jiminy come, like, the spotlight kind of shines on him as he's singing, off to the left of the screen, you see two books, and it's Peter Pan and Alice in Wonderland on those two books, which had not even been announced yet, but they were ideas that Walt had already kind of been dreaming up, which I thought was really cool. And then we we saw it, and we were like, oh, gosh, there it is. So yeah. if you watch it, you definitely need to look for that. Yeah. And something else that when meaning when you were talking about credits and everything, these kind of movies... I never noticed that, but how nowadays movies have end credits. Well, they didn't have end credits back then. Mm-hmm. They ever all the credits and stuff were in the very beginning. And I don't like that makes me wonder: was it just animated movies, or is it like all movies? So, and then, like, when was the big shift? When like, yeah, when did they start doing end credits? That's a fun. Hmm. So were these called beginning credits? Credits. Opening credits. No oh, opening yeah, credits. Probably that opening makes credits. That makes sense. So. Huh. Well, a little knowledge right there. A little knowledge. A little knowledge dropped on you. All right, what's our next movie? So, our next movie is going to be Fantasia. Which which we have to find. We do not own that movie. We own a lot of them. And I'm I'm excited for this movie, and I'm I'm not. not. It's just music, but, I mean, we're going to do it. I mean, I think it will be interesting just to see it for the first time, but... I don't know, which, and I'm not, like, trying to hate on it either, but, and also, we were going to link our list, and I'm still working on that. I have transformed it into a PDF, but for some reason, it will not let me share it, so if I cannot get that to work, then what I might end up doing is just typing it out, so if you do want to follow along, you can, so it'd be really cool. Yeah, and our, stay tuned for our next video, which will be not Disney related. No. We are actually going to go stay at uh, Gaylord Opryland um, in right, Nashville. In Nashville. So this coming week we're gonna do a little staycation. Um, Very excited. My mom's coming into town, so uh, we're gonna go spend some time with her and mm-hmm. just see her. And, and she's actually coming with a travel group. Yeah. But to take in that big giant resort because we went at Christmas one year. Or yeah. Like, it was last, last. It was Thanksgiving. Was yeah, it not? Two. Th- yeah. Last. Not. So we've only been through it. Twenty seventeen Thanksgiving, and it was yeah. huge. Almost so we're got lost. we're excited yeah. about getting to kind of go and film throughout. So have to stay tuned for that video. So. Oh, that